Hey, hello guys, this is a super simple lecture on how to download and install Unity and Visual Studio. I assume some of you have that already, but just in case, maybe if you have this Visual Studio installed together with Unity, just go through this video fast to see what I did and just to make sure you have same version as I do, right? Or at least something similar. Now I'm going to show you the process from the beginning, like if you would have completely new computer with no unit installed, nothing is there. That's what we're going to do. So you go to Google and just type here Unity. Then you need to go to the first link, basically unity.com. That's what you can type here as well if you want, right? And here you need to download Unity. Every time this site looks a bit different because every time I'm recording the video on how to install Unity, it's different a bit. But the main point is just to find download button here. And if it's not right here in the middle, you can go to see plans and pricing. Another time it can say get started or anything like that. And you just need to find um, student, hobbyist, personal, free license. That's what you need to do. Let's click get started. And then we can click download for Windows. I'm going to use for Windows because I have Windows computer. Let's click it, and here I'm just going to click Open. Now here you'll see a pretty simple process of installation, and I believe you can do that. I'm just going to change direction. Mine will be on this PC. D drive, I know my computer is a bit messy, but what to do on the game dev folder, I'm going to use Unity Hub folder and click OK. Then install, and I need to wait, so I'll just skip that part. But for you, it will be just a second. Now let's click Finish, and I'm going to run it as well. Yeah, I will allow access, that's OK. Now I have Unity Hub opened, and I'm just going to click here pin to taskbar because I'm going to use it quite a lot, right? You don't see my taskbar, but it's nothing important here, honestly. All right, so what do you have on Unity Hub? You have uh, projects where you have all of your projects that you created or you're going to create. And I have this icon here because at the moment I don't have any editor installed. And that's what we're going to fix. By the way, you probably will have to sign in, but I trust that part to you. I think you can make an account. That's okay. Now let's go to Installs and click Install Editor. Here you have long-term support and there is other version, which is a bit later. Like this one is 2022 and long-term support is 2021. The deal is that long-term support is kind of like a stable version, version that was checked many times and the one you can trust. And the latest one might have some bugs in it. So I always suggest just to install long-term support LTS, even if it is by this point is the later version, just find the one that is recommended version and click install. Here you have all of the modules that can be installed with Unity. Uh, the main part is you always can install them later. So if you don't choose something now that is completely OK, you always can fix it. No worries about that. Mostly these are needed for different purposes and different systems. For example, if you would select this one, that would allow you to build game for browsers. If you select this one, it will allow you to build game for Android. That's the point. What I want to do here right now is to uncheck this Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019 because I'm going to install Visual Studio 2022. Just something of my preference. And if you choose 2019, it's OK. You're not going to lose anything. You know, it's just like I like to use that one. OK, let's click Install. And while it is installing, I'm going to go and find Visual Studio. We go into Google again. And here we can type Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. OK, let's see. One of these links should work. Yeah, I'm going to click Download Community 2022. And I'm just going to click Open here. Okay, let's click continue. It's going to do some stuff. Now 
Now, here it is important. I have the circle lagged for some reason, but it's okay. Uh, here is very important to find game development with Unity. Click it, and I believe that's all what you need. Now, let's choose install while downloading and then click install. And now we need to wait for this one and for editor as well. Once it is done, I'll get back to you. All right, let's wait for it. Now, here we can see it asks me to sign in, and I guess it's done with Microsoft account. I honestly don't remember because I sign in like once in a year. But let me see. All right, sign in is done. Before we continue, I want to say thanks to all my Patreon supporters and give special thanks to Friendly Robot, ASKT1 Mighty Poppy, Dmitro Bilitz, Steven and Gennady, and Chen Son. I hope that is a correct way to say it. How ba? Let's continue. All right, install in progress. Let's wait a couple of more seconds. And actually, while that is happening, I want to do something with Visual Studio. You see, uh, this one looks a bit different from the Visual Studio of 2000. 19. So what I want to do here is to use a um, theme for this one, because I kind of used to 2019, and it's a good practice for those who using still using 2019 version. So let's go to theme, get more themes, and it's going to open in a browser over here, and I'm going to find dark theme 2019. And download, open. I believe for this I need to close Visual Studio. This one can be closed. Let's do install and task. Now dark theme is ready and I just have to wait for editor to be installed and then we can continue. All right, I guess now I have all set and we can continue. Let's go to projects and here we can click new project. Actually, let me get this out of the way, it's kind of irritating. Yeah, new project. Here you can choose editor version, and it's gonna be the one you installed by default, right? Now here you have a bunch of templates, but they're just like basic templates, nothing important for us right now. What we're going to do here is just uh, select 2D, and we're gonna give it a name. Mine will be Udemy Course Onion Lad. Okay, let's click Create Project. Again, we need to wait for a while and then we can continue. All right, Unity is ready. We actually need to do one last step to make it all set and ready. We need to go to Edit over here, Preferences, and find External Tools and make sure under External Script Editor, your editor is selected. I have only two, Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio, and I'm going to choose this one. And just in case, I'm going to click Regenerate Project Files. That's it. We can close this, and we are ready. Let's go to next video and set up the windows and talk about them, what these windows all do. Thanks for watching. Rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly. Subscribe not to miss that. Check my website for more courses. Ask your questions in the comments below. And remember, we don't play games. We make them.